A key player in Egypt's political landscape before the coup, Mohamed Beltegi then became a regular fixture on stage at Rabat, where those opposing the country's military leadership camped out for weeks. He is the secretary general of the group's political arm, the Freedom and Justice Party. When security forces moved in to break up the protest on August 14, his 17-year-old daughter Asma was shot and killed. His son Amar has since been arrested. Beltegi was charged on seven counts of incitement to violence during those protests. So too have dozens of other senior leaders within the organization, including Supreme Guide Mohamed Badia. Members of the group say he was beaten up and humiliated. As of now, I'm voicing my concern to the international community that human rights should be respected here. Beltegi had been in hiding for weeks. In a video message released on Wednesday night, he urged Egyptians to take to the streets against the interim government. Hours before, an alliance of anti-coup groups announced their strategy, which includes smaller and shorter protests, challenging the current state of emergency and military curfew, and a boycott of companies they think support the interim government. The, the main problem we are facing now is that large protests are, are, are very, uh, very dangerous now for people. For, uh, for me, I don't care. I am one who is uh, ready to die any, anywhere and any time, and I swear on that. Security forces warn any attacks on public institutions after Friday prayers will be met with force. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Cairo.